Most storage systems on the market give you a big bucket where you can put all your data. But EditShare helps you keep that data organized so that you can easily give access to the right editors, restrict some people to read-only access, manage permissions, and quickly and safely delete the media you no longer need. In this video, we're going to walk through the powerful administration features that are common to all EditShare storage systems. At the heart of all EditShare systems is EditShare Manager. This is the administration tool you use to divide up your storage into manageable spaces and to set user privileges. So in the first tab, the user tab is a place where you can create user accounts. Everybody needs a user account and a password in order to access the system. I've just created a user named John. I can also create groups of users. So you can see here that I already have a group called Senior Editors. And if I want to add some new users to that group, for instance, John, I just click on his name and add him to the group. Now I have five members of Senior Editors. On the Media Spaces tab is where I create new spaces for different projects. And we like to divide up uh, our edit share into different spaces for different projects. Here I'm going to create a space called Reality 204. This is for the fourth show of the second season of my reality show. I determine how big I want the space to be. In this case, it's 30 gigabytes. And I add the space to the system. Now I can add users to the space. I could add the entire senior editor group, in fact, to all of my reality show spaces. I could add specific users to all the spaces. I could add all users to a particular space, or all users to all spaces. So it's very flexible. In this case, I'm going to add just the senior editors. And you'll see who's clicked there. I'm going to click on OK. And now let's say I want to limit some of those editors to read-only access. I click on the button here. And any user who I want to restrict to read-only, I can click the appropriate space. So it's very easy to manage this. Edit Share Media Spaces are like virtual drives. They appear on the network like any other hard drive, except that you can expand and contract them at the click of a button. Now, if I want to change the size of the space later on, I can click in the Quotas tab. I can see how much space I'm already using. So let's say I want to click on this Reality 203. This tells me I'm only using 4 kilobytes because I haven't put anything there yet. But let's say I want to make it larger. I can simply type a new number, and instantly the space gets bigger. It doesn't interrupt the work of anybody. Uh, it's completely seamless to the editors who are working. I have another tab here in the Edit Share Manager for project spaces. These are special spaces that I can make for Edit Share, Final Cut Pro, and Avid project sharing. And just like I have with the media spaces, I create the name, I say which type of project it is, and add the space to the system, and then I add the users to the space. So very simple. Another important feature of Edit Share Manager is maintenance mode. It lets you select the space and choose a user to whom you want to give full control over the whole space. When you give control to that user, it means that that user can delete or modify or change any file they want. When you remove a space from maintenance mode, any files that had been deleted by the maintenance user are automatically moved to trash. This gives you a chance to restore them in case somebody made a mistake. One of the really cool features of Editor Manager is limited administration. This allows you to select a particular user and give that user the ability to manage the space as if they were the Edit Share administrator. You can choose exactly which capabilities you want the user to have in each space. Edit Share also has a number of features that were designed with universities and other schools in mind. For instance, the Configuration Import tool, which lets you create a spreadsheet of user accounts and media spaces, and it lets you import them at the beginning of the semester and then clean them up at the end of the semester with a clean slate tool. So, as you can see, we've tried to make the administration of EditShare systems very straightforward, very intuitive, and very easy. In the vast majority of EditShare installations, it's an editor, in fact, who runs the EditShare system. Mm -hmm.